Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. It's time for us to do the last Malaysia mission, if I'm not mistaken. It's called the Jacuzzi Job. Also, I'm not sure if that's how you spell Jacuzzi. I thought there was a Q in Jacuzzi. Maybe I'm misremembering. That's a lovely, lovely picture of a man. Also, Agent 47's there. Diana here, an insider has informed us that your bonus target is indeed a twin playboy with a passion for cheap women and expensive art. Cool. You've got plenty of both, including an extremely rare and valuable 16th century statue, so security is tight. I'm just outside the penthouse now, looking in. It looks like there is a twin. I will proceed as requested. Those are the orders. Are you absolutely sure that this is Charlie's twin? Yes. Definitely looks like him. Although he behaves differently. Oh, those twins. Alright, our client would prefer it if you could make this look like a simple burglary gone bad. So kill him, steal some valuables, and escape by the elevator. Okay. Um. So I've heard about this one and how you have to make it look like a burglary. And I've heard there's not that many guards in this one, actually. So, what is she running to? Sorry, I'm just trying to understand. Is she running towards us? She totally is. What? What? <laughs> what? Why? What was that? I'm sorry. I'm. They're all running out to see me, aren't they? Oh, the AI for this one is is not having a good day, is it? What the fuck? What? What? What is going on here? <laughs> what? What? Do you have a gun and you're not? What? I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. Just I, I, I I'm, so, I'm so flabbergasted by what just occurred. Okay. So I guess I have to be sneaky on this this rail because they clearly can see me if I'm not sneaking. Okay. Um. So my question is, where do I want to go? There were two points of interest I saw. So is, I'm assuming that's probably the art. I'd imagine. Uh, I want to find a clean entrance point more than anything else. And I feel like... Uh, do you already see me? Did you already see... These girls, man. These girls are, like, really, really observant. I guess maybe not observant so much. It's just, like, they're going to notice me. All right. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Okay, who sees me? I feel like this is a very slow and probably not even good way to do this. But I wanna see if there's like another entrance on the other side I can get at. Cause if so, that would be really cool. Or at least like that would be very, very convenient, so. I love how this one girl is just playing piano by herself. Like, no one's around, even listening. She's just like, fuck it, piano time. Okay. So this is one place that doesn't have a window, so I'm gonna climb over. Uh, climb over. Climb over. Climb over, climb over wall, yes. Okay. Now I can sit on my map and figure out what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it looks like there's only, like, what, one guard? Well, I guess, to be fair, the girls seem to have their own, uh... Actually, I don't know, are the girls considered the guards? It's hard to say. Who is the innocent that's over here? There, I saw a green person over here, and now they're gone. 
Oh, hi. Did you see me? What? I just I just realized someone was out here. Whatever. Whatever. Worst case scenario, I could I could do a bloodbath here, but I'd rather not. So what is where is the art? Let me first find out where the art that I need to grab is. Is that is that right here? Pick up night vision. I mean, all right. That's. Oh hi. Okay, I wanna I wanna see what is this. Security has been breached. Okay, so the security for that. Um, is there another art piece I interact with? That's what I want to know. Is this where security is? Let me shoot it. Let me see if this is what happens. Uh, security approaching Kenneth. Alright. Well, okay. So clearly I need to figure out what I'm doing. Sorry if this is not the most interesting way to start this level. It's just like every level... I feel like I say sorry for every fucking level, but like... It really is a matter of figuring out what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So... Uh... Let me go back to the map. So my question is, where is security? Like, how am I changing security here? Hmm... Doesn't look like it's marked. I would assume it's this building here. Yeah, let me let me make a run to it. Fuck it. I wanna I wanna know. I wanna know. Is that where security is? Okay, that's the elevator. Is this this is a paint this is the painting, okay. Uh, open safe. Okay, that's security. Where, how do I, okay. Is it on the other side? Here. Is this security? Pick up revolver, that's not what I need. Sorry, the second I figure out how to do, oh, destroy fuses. Is this security? Security is, if power isn't alerted. Or restored. Okay, so that's what I need to do, it looks like. I need to steal that stuff while power is out. Okay. Okay, I get it. I think. I think that's what I need to do. Because I'd imagine that's what that's there for. So now I need to get there sneakily. Sneaktastically. Sneaking-esque. You know, I was thinking about it the other day. It kind of would be useful if Agent 47 could go prone. Like, just crawl on the ground. Because there's so many situations where that would actually be really helpful. Or at least that I've encountered that I would like that for. So, can I... Alright, I want to... I want to save here, because this seems like this is a fairly short level if you do it correctly. Because you just got to kill the guy and rob the safe, right? So, I want to do this correctly. As opposed to every other level, which I've wantonly done incorrectly. I don't know. Okay, okay so there's a guy right there who can see me. Okay. Good to know. Honestly, as far as Silent Assassin goes, this level probably won't be too bad. Because it'll probably just be a matter of, like, getting down the route. And I imagine this route could be done in, like, like two minutes if, you, if you're if you really quick about it. So, let's be careful of that guard. Oh. Alright. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job of navigating this interior without getting caught. Because it feels like I've lasted like a maximum of five seconds every time before someone just starts shooting at me, but whatever. What if I... What if I wait over here? Asshole. Thank you. Those are the two cars. Fuck, one of the girls is running. God damn it, this shit is...
This shit is harder than it looks. Uh, okay, let me... I'm going to keep loading until I get this. I feel like I just need to get past these two patrolling guards and I'll be home free. It's going to be so fucking easy. Oh my god, I've already solved the level. I don't know. It does feel like if I could just like survive this, though. Who, who sees me? Alright. Alright, easy. Fucking easy. It sounded like someone saw me, but... Whatever. <laughs> Clearly I haven't been detected yet, so we're, we're fine. So now my question is, how long will this power stay out? So... If it stays out long enough, I could probably, like, kill the guy while the power is out. Asshole. Oh my god, it's so dark. It's so dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go, open painting. My question is, can I open the safe? Okay, good. I would have been very sad if I couldn't have opened the safe without, uh, without my, uh, night vision. Okay, let me check the objective status real quickly. Oh, I have to steal the statue too? God damn it. Shit, I have to be quick. This could be a problem. Oh, you hear me. Alright. I can't see shit in the dark right now. I can't see a fucking thing. I need the night vision. I need it badly. What do you want? Don't shoot. You might hit Charlie. <laughs> oh no! What if we hit Charlie? Okay, yeah. This is this is not. Okay, let's go back to my previous save then. Let's go back to this one because I clearly need the night vision if I'm gonna be doing any of this shit. So, or at least if I'm gonna be like navigating this competently and consistently. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I had known night vision was that useful. I guess it makes sense, you know, it's, you know, you're cutting out all the power. It just, it feels like I've never needed night vision until this mission, you know? Where is it? God damn it. Okay, got night vision. Cool. Now let's make our way. How did you not see me? How on earth did you not see me at first? Also, that's a problem because if he's patrolling, uh, <laughs> if he's patrolling that area, that could be a big problem. Um, yeah. All right, let's. <laughs> we're gonna get this eventually, so help me God. See, look, we'll get this eventually. Quickly, we run to the night vision. What you want? You so didn't see me. Hmm? <laughs> this will work. This will work. It so worked. Oh, he didn't see me. Alright, now... Okay, save... This time let's save over the previous one. Because, uh... Right? Is that is that right? Am I, am I using my brain correctly? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... I'm, I'm feeling very dumb right now. Uh, yeah, let's save over this one. Okay, and then once we turn out the power, we activate night vision. Well, we put on the night vision goggles or whatever, and then everything should be fine. Everything should. In fact, let's put them on preemptively. Fuck it, I don't care. Just 
destroy fuses. Hooray! Yum, yum. Where's the safe? What you want? God damn it, that guy is still here. Okay. Uh, I gotta wait for him to leave before I start doing this. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. I'm just being impatient. I'm being like, what if I just walk past him and he doesn't notice? Well, whatever. This one might actually be more annoying to Silent Assassin than I realized. Whatever. I love that, that wonderful animation. Okay, let's open the map. Let's make sure this guy leaves first. What do you mean he's not leaving? What do you mean you're not leaving? I don't want to have to kill you, but I will, so help me God, I will. Like, don't think I'm, I'm afraid to kill. I'm just trying to see if I can get this done. Like, if I can find the Sion Assassin strategy without, you know, I want to see if I can get past you without having to kill you, bro. I'm doing you a favor, if anything. So. What are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? Okay, there we go. You heard me? You little fuck. Oh my god. He heard me. Okay. I'm sorry to, like, lose my patience with this, just because if I'm going to be doing this shit, I, like, if I'm going to be doing the trial and error, I kind of want to just do it on professional, so I know I have to be cautious, rather than this, like, habsy shit I'm doing. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Now let's just sit on the map. Just sit on the map. Until this guy leaves, let's sit on the map. Okay. We're painting. Where's the safe? Come on, safe. No, no, don't close it! God damn it. I, uh, open it so I can take the money. Quickly. Open it! Why is it not... Okay, there, god damn. Pick up money. God damn. Lugila. Yeah, that went poorly. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's kill Charlie and get out of this level. I don't want to spend too much longer in this because this is like, I feel like I'm fucking this up and I just need to do it off screen and figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Where are you, Charlie? Sorry, Charlie. Where is he? Okay, how am I getting out of here? It's it's the elevator. Oh no! Who's here, right? This is the exit, right? Fuck you! Can I leave yet? Oh my god! Shit 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 shit! Fuck! <laughs> I can get this! I can get this! I can so get this.
That wasn't so bad. I just had to kill the girls first, that's all. Because one of them kept pegging me with a revolver. That's all. I did that poorly. It's fine, though. Yeah, cleaner. Because it could have been much cleaner. That's why you're saying that, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's over now. Now I can focus on doing Silent Assassin of it, so... Let's celebrate that. I mean, you know, I, I can fit in another level now. There, there's that, so... I get to look forward to that. First, let's do this cutscene. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to start doing the Silent Assassin run for that level. Honestly, don't have any idea how I'm going to be starting it out, but it'll be fun to discover. So, I will be back in a moment. So, remember how I said I would be back in a moment? I wasn't counting how long this took. But it took longer than a moment. It took, like, at least an hour and a half. This fucking level, my god. I'll let them talk first. Let them do their fucking cutscene. 47 Diana here. An insider has informed us that your bonus target is indeed a twin playboy with a passion for cheap women and expensive art. He's got plenty of both, including an extremely rare and valuable 16th century statue. So security is tight. I'm just outside the penthouse now. Looking in. It looks like there is a twin. I will proceed as requested. Those are the orders. Are you absolutely sure that this is Charlie's twin? Yes, definitely looks like him. Although he behaves differently. So I'm just going to get it out of the way right now. No, you cannot shoot uh, through this glass. Shut up, Diana. You can't shoot through this glass. I tried. Trust me, I wanted to skip this. Uh, I wanted to skip this so badly. You have no idea. But no, you can't shoot through the glass. I'm sneaking here because. You can get past them without getting detected. Well, okay, let me let me clarify that. They'll detect you, but you can get past them without them running out here in time to alert. But that fucks up their cycles, and we critically, critically need them to never detect me. Because if they do, that fucks up when they go to the bathroom. They'll go in the bathroom out of order, and that basically makes killing Charlie undetected... I don't want to say for sure impossible, but close to it. It's approaching impossible. Like, you, you know how, like, a, a fucking... A, a derivative is approaching infinity, positive infinity. That's what we're, re we're dealing with. That's a tangent function. It's approaching impossible if they get out of sync. So you have to do that. If they, if you go near the door, one of them will see you. So you have to wait till they're going to the bathroom. This guy walking right here has, I'm convinced, what is known as like a genetic malfunction. Because he can see like literally through doors and sideways and upside. Okay, he can see through doors. But he will just see you immediately if you open that door. Like... I've, I swear to God, it feels like he's seen me through the actual door itself. Uh, you have to just sit here patiently while he walks by. If you even, like, so much as sneeze right now, he'll see you. And then finally, finally, you can start moving. Uh, you want to run past here. You have to hide in this alcove right now, because another guard's going to come through this door. And I've had fun with this guard where, like, if I even move an inch, he'll detect me, but then he'll, like, fuck around and not see me. It, it's weird. Anyway, this guy, you got to wait for him. And now, we get to go to Charlie. You don't have to do Charlie first, but from, in my personal experience, doing Charlie first was much more consistent. Mostly because the cycles are easier to deal with when you know what they are immediately. Because otherwise, you're playing with a loaded fucking like set of dice. So anyway, they're just coming back from the bathroom. Unfortunately, that does mean that we have to sit here and wait for them to go to the bathroom again to leave us alone with Charlie. The good news is that... I've never been caught by them once they've, uh... Actually, that's a lie. I got caught once, but that was because I was... I, I, I started walking too soon and they heard me. But yeah, uh... Once they leave the room, there's, this part is pretty easy. Uh, you just walk up to Charlie and fiberwire him. And then I drag his body. And I hide it to his... Like, to the... Like, behind his bed. They'll never see it if you do that. Anyways, um... They also don't... They don't get alerted if Charlie's missing. Because once you kill Charlie, obviously he's not going to be in the jacuzzi. They don't give a shit. They just do their regular AI routines. Which is counterintuitive, but whatever. Um, I just... These fucking... These 
these fucking pool jacuzzi girls are like life destroyers when it comes to doing Silent Assassin on this. Because if they get out of sync, your run is ruined. They'll see you from like halfway across the map and they'll run out and then get out of sync. And if they detect you just for shits and giggles, they have revolvers that they'll just instantly fucking blow you away with. Because on professional, a revolver will like two hit kill you, if not like one hit. Uh, I, okay. I'm gonna say it right now, I fucking hate this level. I hate, I capital H, hate this level. Just because the AI routines are so easy to fuck up. I, 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 you know, I almost hate this level more than any other level in the game so far. And it's like, this level is so cool conceptually. Like, make a murder look like a robbery gone bad. Awesome. Love that idea. And it's just like, getting Silent Assassin on Professional was like pulling teeth. I, I tried so many different strategies that I'm not gonna show. I tried running around to the other side, which I could do in time. Like, I could actually do it, on, like, without getting alerted, but then their cycles went out of sync, and that would fuck me when I had to kill Charlie. There's no real good way to kill Charlie other than getting in this room, because you can't, like... E even if you, like, turn out the power, the girls will still fucking see you in the dark, because they're, like, chameleons. I don't know, just... Okay, so we fiber wire him here. It doesn't look like it'll work, but it does every time. Uh, and... Yeah. Beyond that, now he's dead. We just drag his carcass. His fucking... His corpse. It feels a lot tighter on time than it actually is. You have, we have plenty of time here. Even though it feels like, Oh my god, they're about to come back in the room! Oh my god! So yeah, we just hide the body right around here. And then we can just run back to where the doorway is. We want to wait for them to come in first. Because they're going to be coming out of the bathroom. And there's going to be a patrolling guard usually in this hallway. So it's just better if we wait it out a bit. Uh, the biggest thing I learned about this level is that when the AI fucks you, you have to just wait. Waiting is the answer to your problems here, so. Anyways, there's a guard right... Where is he? There he is. He sometimes can be ahead of his cycle, sometimes behind. He was ahead this time, so we don't have to worry about him. Here is where things get a little bit... Not tricky, per se, but these are a little more open-ended. You could go t many different ways here. I choose to go just straight for the power. You could go around and go to the secretary's office through the other door. Where, the secretary's office being where the, the safe is. Uh, but I've found that's much harder to get done cleanly when you're at that position. So, uh, I, I just prefer going here. I'm waiting on a specific cycle here. Uh, I'm, I'm looking through the keyhole and waiting on a guard to walk by. It doesn't seem that important, but it's for my own personal benefit. Because remember, I haven't picked up the night vision goggles. Because they're just too far out of the way, and they're not very necessary. Once you do this level in the dark enough, you kind of just learn how to get to the two... Well, I guess the three things you need to interact with in the dark. Uh, so here, we're just waiting for a guard. He takes his sweet-ass time, but there he is. He just walks in that room, and then, ah, uh, bye. <laughs> I don't understand why he even bothers, but whatever. Now that he's there, I know where everyone's cycles are, so now I can destroy the fuses. Which is exactly... The, the, the end game of this level. We don't want the lights to come back on. So, the secretary runs out of her room when the lights get turned off, so we can just run to the painting, and then we open the safe in the agonizingly slow time it takes. <laughs> you have plenty of time in the dark, don't get me wrong, it just it feels so slow. So then we pick up the money, we close the safe, we close the painting. I don't even think this is strictly necessary, to be honest, but... I just do it because fuck it, might as well, just in case the lights come back on on me and they detect me and it counts as an alert or something. I don't know. Here you can just, like, hold the wall and mash X until you pick up the statue. And here's uh, a big mistake that's coming up. This guy, I feel like, shouldn't have alerted, so I walk a little bit closer to him than I probably should have. So I'm walking and walking and walking and... Uh-oh, he detected me. Unfortunately, that, that puts a damper on things, so I I do the AI exploit of, like, hiding next to a door to stop it from opening, so that way they can't open the door. It's stupid, and it's, it, 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 there's no reason it should work, but it does here. Uh, and then this, this fucking piano player model, look at the revolver in her hand. She's looking for me. She's looking for me, revolver in hand, waiting to kill me. And I'm, like, praying to God I could save this, because this is only a close encounter. So... I'm like, if I could just make it to the elevator, I'm good. So I wait for this line. This line means that the guy is here. So that means also the lights are back on. That I could just run to the elevator and boom. 
I'm mashing X so quickly that I accidentally skipped the cutscene, but it's whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's the level. I fucking hate this level. That was a pretty dirty, like, messy run at the end, like, part, at finish, whatever. But can you blame me? This level was, like, so much harder to route than it looks. And I, I feel like I did not, ex like, demonstrate how fucking bad this level could be. So, consider that, like, c consider the fact that I didn't do that and I was able to make this consistent for the most part. Consider that its own reward. Fuck, I don't want to do the next level. I might, I might, I might, I might take a break. I might, you know, fuck it. I'll, I'll do it another day. Fuck it. <laughs> so, after the ultimate sadness that was that mission, it's a new day for me. I'm now reinvigorated and ready to try out whatever the fuck this is. I'm hoping it'll be more forgiving. <laughs> Less demanding. 47, this is Diana. We require your services once again, and this time you will have to prove your money's worth. Really? Our client has lost some cargo, which he wants back at any cost. It appears to be stolen by a bunch of renegades armed to the teeth. The cargo is hidden somewhere in the desert. This is a two-stage mission. First, you must eliminate Lieutenant Ahmed Zahir and get a map from him. It shows the location of the cargo. He's quite weak, has a pacemaker, and goes for a nap every day after noon prayers. So this is a good time to eliminate him without raising any suspicions. If the alarm is sounded, the mission will fail. He is well guarded and behind locked doors, where only his trusted personal bodyguards have keys and access. Both his and the guards' quarters are situated in front of the palace. When this is done, you will have to kill Colonel Mohammed Amin and steal the key he's holding. It's an important part of the cargo. Call me when you're done with the lieutenant, and I will brief you on the whereabouts of the colonel. On the video, you can see both targets. It's the lieutenant entering the house. I repeat, eliminate the lieutenant without any alarm. Get the map and call me for further information. So I'm going to state up front. I know one thing about this mission. You don't actually have to kill either the lieutenant or the colonel. Uh, I've been told that you can just sedate them and get the items off of them and you're good. However, you still can't afford to be seen even if you've already gotten their items. Because even if you've already pickpocketed them, if they escape, then it's a mission failure. So, yeah. Just figured I'd mention that. No, oh, yeah. So, okay. I like how that one guy didn't even, like, continue walking when he reached the bottom. <laughs> Maybe that was, like, an HD thing where, like, he was cut off in the original, but then in HD, the, there's a widescreen, so it showed him. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Fucking Christ, this, this looks a little bit, uh, this looks a little bit big. I like the big maps, though. I really do, so maybe not the worst thing in the world. Where do we start from? Uh, I would love to know. Where are we starting from? Uh, you know what? I guess we'll just have to figure it out as we go. Okay, this is a here, and then this is I'm in. Okay. So I guess we can eliminate them if it's easier to do so, but I probably won't want to. At least not on Silent Assassin. Maybe on this file, who fucking cares? But, alright. Um. So now the question is, what do I want to bring? The ballers, like always. Uh, anesthetic for the fuck of it. I never use anesthetic on this file, so who cares? But it's fun to to, to, to LARP as someone who would use the anesthetic. Uh, Alright, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing else I really would want to bring. Uh, yeah. So let's, 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 let's see what happens here. I feel like they've used that image before in a previous level. Ah, whatever. Only one way in here for me, it seems. If I make an inconspicuous approach, I should blend in just nicely and get the job done. Probably a few obstacles to clear away. Sounds like it. Well, let's open up the map immediately. So we start here. This guy already coming to our direction. What happens if I just go over here? Wow, so it looks like they are going to detect me from a while away. Okay. I just want to get away from that guy seeing me. 
His dot disappeared. Did he go in a building? Uh... Whatever. I guess I could just try to beeline to the colonel or lieutenant. Well, I think lieutenant's the first one, and then the colonel. Uh... So the real question is... Is there's a back entrance it looks like. How consistently can I get in there? Mm. Okay, these I see. Uh, I'd have to go around. Can I enter this door? No, I can't. All right. Okay, I have to go through this way now if I want to enter. Okay, so they're facing this direction now. Did they hear me running? I wish the camera was cooperating. I got. I, I want to see if they heard me running, because they might have. They might have turned over this direction. Because I feel like they were facing a different direction. Uh, they might have heard me running. So let me try this again. Let me get to there without running, and let's see what happens if I just walk. I love how they like tried to put him in a local like outfit. But he still is going to stick out immediately. Like, oh, uh, yeah, white guy in a turban, sure. i buy it. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, oh, shit, I can run. I can beat them here. Oh, God. No, open! No, open! Pick lock, they're going to they're gonna get here soon. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Now what? what? The fuck is this? Oh, that's a shelf. All right. Um. Is it really gonna be just this easy? Okay, it is that easy. If I just rush here and I sneak in. Wow. Wow, that seems easy. <laughs> Suspiciously easy. It, it, are they gonna, like, notice when he's not... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It, that feels suspiciously easy. But then again, I'm, I am so down with an easy level after the fucking last one. I'm sorry, that last one really was the hardest mission by far that, we, that I've done. Just to get consistent. Like, I need you to know that I'm not exaggerating. He sees me immediately is the problem. Or he senses me. Diana, it's 47. Okay. First part of the mission is completed. What's next? That's perfect, 47. Now continue to your next assignment in this area. To comply with our client's wishes, you must assassinate Colonel Mohammed Amin and obtain the key he's holding. He is right now in the souk with a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate to exit. Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way, but hurry. When the guards find out that the lieutenant is dead, the colonel will most definitely try to escape. Okay. Um... Wait, so... I'm sorry, did they did they find out that I killed him? I, I, I'm not sure what just happened there. They went in the building. That's unusual to me. <sighs> the, there's very clearly a, 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 a easy an easy way to get this done. I just have to do it correctly. So let me just try walking so I don't alert him. Because I have a lot more time to open this door than I think I realize. So... But yeah, my question is, how am I getting out of this building once I get in? I didn't really consider how much of a problem that could be. Does... Okay. Let me just drop a save here. If I just sneak up, will he see me? Do I have to shoot him? Can I just fiber wire him? Because if I can just fiber wire him, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Let's see. Sneaky deaky. On. Wow, you really don't notice me. Alright, cool. 
Cool, so as long as I didn't as long as I don't make noise entering this building, he doesn't notice me. That is so nice. Alright. So now the real question is, where do I go to get to the colonel? Diana, it's 47. First part of the mission is completed. What's next? That's perfect, 47. Okay, whatever. I just want to... your next assignment in this area. To comply with our client's wishes, you must assassinate Colonel Mahalish... They come Amin in! What the hell? ...obtain the key he's holding. He is right now in the souk with a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate well, to where exit. do I go for... Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way. But hurry, when the guards find out that the lieutenant is dead, the colonel will most Where's definitely the try to escape. I don't understand. I don't even see him on the map. Is he in the guard quarter? You know, let's just run and find out. I literally just want to run and find out at this point. Well, I'm not seeing a point, guys. What? Is this mean? Is this the fail cutscene? It probably is. Okay. So my problem is I just don't know where he is on the map. Yeah. Uh, let's let's reload. If I could find him on the map, this would probably be like a thousand times easier. Also, I still don't know how I'm going to get out of this building without getting detected now that they've come in. Like, this, that's, a, that's the biggest problem I'm facing with this. Uh, oh, god damn it, I have to sneak again. Whatever. Come on, get up the stairs. Please. You know, I just had, I just had an idea. Are they being detected because of his pacemaker? Like, is he being detected, I should say. What if I just anesthetize him? What happens then? I want to know. Oh. So Diana doesn't tell you anything. So the game kind of really so the game really wants you to kill him. Okay. Fine, fuck it, just to play nice. Diana, it's 47. First part of the mission is completed. What's next? That's perfect, 47. Now yeah, and then they come the in. Next assignment in this area. To comply with our client's wishes, do they you ever must leave is the Colonel problem. Muhammad Amin and obtain the key he's holding. He is right now so in where is the with a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate to exit. Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way, but hurry, when the guards find out that the lieutenant is dead, the colonel will most definitely try to escape. Oh! Oh my god, the bazaar! Oh, I feel so stupid now. This is where the colonel is. Okay, where's the bazaar? Oh, there's the bazaar, I think, right? Sorry, when he was saying the bazaar, I was thinking this whole damn time, like, okay, when I, so I was trying to do village and like, okay, it was showing me this but a different highlighted view, but no, no. Okay, where's the bazaar? Uh, is it that little small area? Okay, I, I'm gonna sit here, I wanna see where the bazaar is. Like, when he leaves this area, where is he going? Like, you know, where, where on earth is that? Come on. Stop being slow. <laughs> For a second I thought they were discovering me. Again, I don't know how I'm getting out of here, by the way. Maybe I can sneak out now that they're facing the wrong way. What if I try that right now? Okay. So that is possible. Okay. So, okay, cool. That 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 makes me feel better about doing this, then. Makes me feel a lot better, to be honest. So now it's really just getting the colonel. Where the fuck is the colonel? Okay, uh, open map. 
I just, I feel like there's a way I should be able to access the bazaar. And I don't know how. Also, how the fuck am I going to get out of here without getting detected? What a brilliant question. How long do I have to wait for this guy to get out of the bazaar? I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't know where it is, and I, I could run around getting myself detected trying to find it, but I feel like it's, it's probably more practical to just wait to see how long it takes for him to get out of it. Come on, bro. Are you gonna leave? Talk to every single known person in the bazaar. Oh! They already left the building and they didn't even aggro on me? Okay. I was just standing there and they. Okay. I thought for sure they would have aggroed on me. Whatever. It's gotta be somewhere here because when I got detected, he immediately ran to this thing and escaped. So, like, is it... I don't know. Maybe he just turned into Hayamoto when Hayamoto, like, really wants to book shit. And he sees a dead body. He, like, so, he, like fucking turns into, like, an Olympic runner. I don't know. Oh, my God. Stop talking to everyone. He Are you just going in a cycle? I feel like you already talked to that person. Okay, uh... Fine, I'm going, I'm going. Here, let me just see if I can find the bazaar. Where is it? No? Where the fuck is the bazaar? Leave me alone, I'm just trying to find things. <laughs> Leave me alone. There it is, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, shut up, I know, I know. This is where the bazaar is. Okay. Okay. I kind of didn't get a good view of it on the map, but now I know. So, that begs the question. Can I get there and just snipe him or something? Well, actually, I have to pick up his body. Yeah, because he has coordinates or whatever, right? How am I getting to him? Ugh. Okay. Let me real quickly check. What is the quickest and easiest way there? Oh, there's a thing. There's a ladder. Can I, like, snipe it? Well, uh, sniping wouldn't help, though. Because I still need to pick up off of his corpse. Unless, like, would everyone just fucking scatter? I don't know. I don't feel like it would be the smartest idea to snipe him, but whatever. There's a ladder there, and there's a point of interest. I could check either one. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. Oh! That is possible, I guess, but I feel like that's not a good idea. Because, like, again, how am I going to get to his corpse? Uh, okay, I want to see what the other point of interest is, then. Where the guard quarter is. Problem is, I don't I don't know how the fuck I can get there in time without, like, just setting everything off. Because it's like... Oh, god damn it! I hit restart instead of... God damn it. I meant to load. I meant to load. So, like, my problem is there's an, there's another point of interest in that guard tower that I want to see, like, if that has anything of value. But the problem is that I can't get there without everyone and their dog getting alerted. You know? So, if I could do that in theory, that'd be really nice. Stop alerting! I'm literally so nice when you get to know me.
Alright. If I just wait here long... If I just wait here long enough... Oh, there's a sniper! That's it? So you really do want me to snipe at this guy? Fuck that. I, okay. I, I... Okay. I guess sniping isn't the worst idea in the world, but it's like, I'd rather just use my regular fucking silenced pistol. Because getting this sniper... How, how in the fuck would I get this sniper all the way over there without getting detected? Either on the way there or the way back. Like, how the fuck... What is the fucking ordeal that I would have to go through for that? I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm, the, that sniper is not appealing to me. I wish it were. God, I wish it were, but... Okay, if I just walk normally... If I just walk normally, are you guys gonna aggro? More importantly, I don't even see who could aggro in the first place. I'm not even going to the bazaar. I'm not looking at you. I'm not even looking at you. I'm walking. Walking, not looking. My god. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. So if I just climb this... I don't know. I feel like this is still a bad idea. Because of how... When you... You shoot at me if I go up here? Oh my god. Okay, maybe, so what do I do then, baby girl? Uh, uh, uh. I'm starting to think there's got to be like some way I can get the lieutenant or the colonel, whichever one, the guy. I think he's the colonel. I, there's got to be some way I can get that guy out of there. Like, I could get him out with, and then somehow get to his body, right? There's got to be some way. I don't know. It's just, it's so... I'm just thinking, what would be the best way to do this, in theory? Because he has a bodyguard, too. That's the thing. Like, his bodyguard will go apeshit on me if I get near him. I'm not even looking. I'm not even look. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here until my suspicion wears down a little. Until I'm, like, good. Okay. Cool. Now let's drop a save. Let's create a new save for this. And... Let's see if I can get up there without them freaking out. Maybe I need to be sneaking to do it. I can't imagine how helpful that would be, but... Excuse me. They don't actually see me. Okay. So sneaking does work. Far, far be it from me to doubt the power of the ability to sneak. So now, I guess let's just try shooting at him. Let's see if somehow I can scare a... Oh, they do see me anyway. Is there another way up here? Is there another way up here or something? Wow, that's not even loading. Or is that just a carpet? I can't tell. What? Shut up, I know, I know. Uh, this is confounding. I'll try it one more time, and then after that, if I can't... If this doesn't work, I might just see what the, the best way to do this is. Because I feel like I'm just, like, hitting a brick wall with trying to figure out how to reach this guy. And it's like, he doesn't seem to leave the bazaar ever. So, it, you know, if he doesn't do that, how am I supposed to get to him? I feel like I'm, I'm like, bad at this game when it comes to being, like, creative. And that's a shame, because that's, like, half of... Not even half, that's, like, 70% of the game is being creative with your murder methods, you know? Okay, if I still stay sneaky, will you discover me? Okay, yeah, you will. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can figure out online, like, trips and tricks. Tips and tricks, even, for, for doing this, so I'll be back. Would you believe me if I said that apparently you can just walk into the bazaar? Apparently that's a thing you can do. 
I would not believe it if I hadn't seen someone do it with my own eyes. Like, apparently you can just do that. Your, your suspicion meter is going to freak out about it, but... And it feels like they're going to detect you, but I guess you can. As long as you never run, and you just accept that they're going to be calling you Whitey. See, look, no weapons in hand, I can just walk. How, how was I supposed to know that? Okay, I guess I guess I should have tried it, but like... Every single time that's happened, if I've gotten too close to them, they've, the suspicion meter rises. But here, it's just a static, like, oh, who cares? I'm more annoyed at myself, because I should have tried it once, but whatever. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much, but it's like... It's, it's more like, come on. Whatever. So now, we can just wait here. And then we just gotta wait for this guy to, to roam over here. So honestly, this mission's probably gonna be pretty easy to Silent Assassin. I'm already doing the Silent Assassin strategies. Because apparently, uh, there's an even easier way to kill the Colonel at the beginning of the level. If you, like... Because he walks into the bazaar without his bodyguard or something. Like, he's by himself. So apparently, if you just, like, immediately kill him with a gunshot... A silence gunshot, obviously. You can, like, make his fucking, like, whole thing that much easier. But I'm not sure... I might try it, but I'm not sure how viable it is, is the thing. Anyways, are they coming over here? No. Maybe, actually? Because they eventually come over here, and he, le he, he waits here by himself. So... Or not? Uh, okay, eventually. Eventually he comes over here, from what I've seen. Yeah, I might speed this up a bit. Oh my god, fucking finally! I didn't actually think he was gonna come over here. Okay, there we go. It's gonna take an eternity, but he will come over here unguarded. So now we gotta real quickly drag him over. Before anyone sees. And then they'll never find his fucking pitiful corpse. For, sure, let's take the revolver just, 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 just out of spite. And now we can leave, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is Diana. Yeah, well, you know, let's make a save here, just so I don't have to do all that waiting again. I, 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 I cannot, I, I cannot say I'm looking forward to all the waiting I'm going to have to do if I'm, if I try to kill him in that exact spot in Silent Assassin Professional, but at least getting to that point probably won't be hard, so, I don't know. I'm assuming the Silent Assassin run isn't going to be very difficult, because it just, unless the guards get more detective. And I mean that as in, like, they detect more. Like, unless that happens, I doubt that it will be as big of an issue. Real moment of truth is, can I reach the exit without them alerting? Are they going to scream and cry if I, if I walk over here? Hopefully not. Oh, that generic, like, camel sound. Okay, cool. So that was basically just the silent assassin route. In normal mode, so now I get to do it in professional. Hooray. At least it won't take very long. Knock on fucking wood. Anyways, I'll be back. So, good news. This one did not take me nearly that long. Oh, uh, it only took me a handful of attempts. If I make an inconspicuous approach, I should blend in just nicely and get the job done. Probably a few obstacles to clear away. Anyways, believe it or not, the Colonel was not the hard target to kill in this one. On Professional, the Lieutenant is so much more observant and attentive that it's actually hard to, to like sneak past him. It's kind of hard, so... I... I don't know, I, I feel like I just got lucky, because like every now and then... 
Well, this was the first time I was able to even sneak up the stairs without him seeing me. This attempt right here, so... I don't know, I was legit starting to think I'd have to just shoot him with the pistol. Because I was able to kill him with the pistol, but I didn't want to. It's one of those things where it's like, I didn't feel like I should have to if I could do it the, the fiber wire way, so... Yeah. But eventually, he, he just doesn't notice me this time for whatever fucking reason. And I'm able to get the job done there. And... Believe it or not, this is where we're home free, because killing the lieutenant is literally just about waiting. Or the colonel, I mean. Diana, it's I always mix them up. <laughs> the first part of the mission is completed. What's next? That's perfect, 47. Now continue to your next assignment in this area. To comply with our client's wishes, you must assassinate Colonel Mohammed Amin and obtain the key he's holding. He is right now in the souk with a bodyguard. When completed, you must proceed to the eastern gate to exit. Remember to dodge any guards looking for infidels on the way, but hurry, when the guards find out that the lieutenant is dead, the colonel will most definitely try to escape. So yeah, those guards will immediately turn their backs to the door, so you can just sneak like that. Uh, and then as for the colonel, he's already in the bazaar. Unfortunately, the cycles are not very kind to you, so we do end up waiting like a good four minutes, I want to say. But I will use this time to wonder out loud in my American ignorance I of... Did how military works in other regions and countries are they also called colonels and lieutenants in in the okay so this is afghanistan would the afghanistan military also be using the term colonel and lieutenant i don't know i feel like that's it's probably something else and they just use that so that way our american westernized brains can conceptualize it i mean granted io interactive i want to say is like a, a european studio so, I don't know. I guess, I guess to be fair, I think in European countries, a lot of them that speak English or have some level of English speaking use also the same military terms, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very ignorant when it comes to, like, geopolitical militaries, and I'll admit that. I mean, I think the average American in general is, that, is ignorant to geopolitics as a whole. I like to think that I at least have some, some grounding in it, but, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, like, lie to myself. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we're, we're doing nothing but waiting, by the way. I just, I have nothing really... To, I have no, no secrets to reveal to you about making this quicker. We are just waiting. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... There's not really much else to say. He's, he's gonna eventually come over here. Uh, one thing to note is that his bodyguard will actually be... Uh, his bodyguard will be here, but not, he won't be able to see me killing the colonel. And he won't turn around, like, he doesn't even turn around at all, I think. But, like, by the time he could potentially have seen me, he won't be able to. Because I'll have already dragged the body behind the thing, so. Yeah. I was indeed right in saying that this level would be fairly easy to silent assassin. The lieutenant was being a huge bitch to me, but otherwise, once you get past that, the colonel is fairly consistent. I really, really am surprised at how easy the colonel is to kill compared to the lieutenant in this one. I guess to be fair, the colonel was easy to kill in normal mode anyway, but whatever. Uh, I guess in this time, I'll mention that the next level coming up is called the Motorcade Interception. That is another level I have heard things about. I have heard that it has some issues with regards to being able to beat it silent assassin because it might i think it's either that it suffers from the same level of bugs with like hidden valley's truck and how it would sometimes just kill guards or that it's just easy to get detected or someone can kill another person and it counts as a kill on your end i don't know there's some level of like dubiousness i've heard of that like let me put it this way I, the motorcade interception is is something I have seen on the internet when, when referring to, like, problem levels. So, I don't know what to expect with that. Uh, I'm certainly not in a hurry to find out right now. Uh, I I didn't, you know, hate this level, but, like, I do kind of want a, a smidge of a break after the jacuzzi job. I know I've been complaining about that level since I did it, but god damn, that level fucking sucked the enthusiasm out of me. Like, that level was just a fucking... Ugh. Again, I did not show you how bad that level was for me. But it was just so bad. 
I tried so many different routes. I tried to speed it up so much more. And I just couldn't. And the AI is just so unforgiving. And it's just... And, and sometimes the secretary had random cycles where sometimes she would check the safe, sometimes she wouldn't. And if she checked the safe, it fucked me. Anyways, the guy's here now. So, yeah, even though his bodyguard's right there and you would think, oh man, he's gonna totally detect us. He doesn't. He just doesn't. So yeah, the colonel also, even though he was like right looking at me, doesn't see me. And then I just do this. Again, I guess in theory you could anesthetize this guy and the lieutenant, but what's the fucking point? Yeah, you know, what are you trying to prove? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't really matter. The game expects you to, so it's like, you might as well. I, I, you can beat this game without killing him. Like, this level, I mean, but it just feels weird to do that. So, whatever. It's funny that they actually, like, accounted for it, though. That they let the coding... Like, the game will actually register this as a clear. That's something I definitely wouldn't have expected, so... Anyways, now we're just walking to the exit. Uh, there is a brief period where I'm like, can I run and not raise suspicion? So I do. And right about here, I want to say? Yeah, and then I start to raise suspicion ever so slightly, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm almost there. And boom, that is the level. So next time we'll be doing the motorcade interception and hopefully not having a horrible, horrible time doing it. I'll see you then.